Firefighters in Kernersville are investigating the cause of a building fire. Crews say they saw flames and heavy smoke coming from one of the furnace systems. This was at the Tex Tech Coatings Building on Drummond Street just last night. Five other fire departments and Forsyth County Emergency Management were all called in to assist due to the size of that building. It took about an hour to get things under control. Thankfully, though, no one was hurt. Two people arrested in Wills County will be sent to Tennessee. They are connected to an active Amber Alert in that state. Angela Boswell and William McLeod remain, though, in the Wills County Jail. They appeared in court for the first time yesterday. The two were arrested on North Lomax Road in Wills County last Friday inside a BMW that was reported stolen. Boswell and McLeod say they didn't know the car wasn't paid for. They were charged with theft over $2,500. Boswell told the judge that she wanted to go back home to look for her granddaughter, Evelyn Boswell. Investigators believe the 15-month-old has been missing since December. It's gotten completely out of control, and these are people who do not respect the do not call list. They are criminals, and I'm just personally offended by their behavior. North Carolina's Attorney General wants to put a stop to those annoying robocalls. Josh Stein says they're not just frustrating, but they're also scamming people out of millions of dollars. Stein's office just launched Operation, Operation rather, Silver Shield. Stein is teaming up with phone companies to trace the calls and shut down any that are in North Carolina. You can report robocalls online or by calling that number there on your screen. Stein says his office received 1,100 complaints in the first week of this new initiative. 434, the White House is sending an urgent budget request to Congress in response to the deadly coronavirus outbreak. It's asking for $2.5 billion for vaccines, treatment, and protective equipment. The request could advance quickly through Congress. Financial experts believe fears over the virus led to a more than 1,000-point drop in the Dow Jones Index. Happening now, President Donald Trump and First Lady Melania Trump are wrapping up their visit to India today. In the next half hour, the couple will attend a meet and greet at the U.S. Embassy in New Delhi. Uh, later, they will meet with the President of India and join a state banquet before traveling back to the United States.